do not lift your forerunner unless you consider your pan hard rod and correcting its angle. That's what we're going to talk about today. Your forerunner between the body and the axle rides on coil springs. What holds the axle in a center line between the body and itself is something called the pan hard rod. So this is the pan hard rod. Its purpose is to keep the axle centered side to side in the vehicle. When your vehicle is stock, this pan hard rod is horizontal or flat. When you lift it, it creates this angle. The problem with that is something called bump steer. So you'll feel bump steer in many ways. Let me give you an example here. So looking at the back of this vehicle, if this axle moves to the left or to the right, you're gonna feel a shimmy in the rear end of the vehicle. This can be on the road, it can be on the trail. To correct that, when you lift a vehicle, you need to bring this back into alignment. So what we're gonna focus on today is a correction kit. So we're gonna take this bracket or mounting point, and we're gonna take it from here up here. You can see once that's up here, this bar will be flat. So do not lift your forerunner until you consider things like this. Let's take a look at the tools we're going to use and let's get this bracket in place. What do you need for tools? Um, I like air impact <coughs> wrenches. They sound cool, they're fun to use. Uh, but we also got some cool Milwaukee drivers here. We've got a paint pen, I'm gonna show you how to use that. You're gonna need a torque wrench. And then here's the hardware that comes in the kit more hardware and then an 18 and a 19 socket 21 millimeter wrench and then a hammer of some sort needle nose pliers zip tie everybody's favorite loctite so the first thing we have to do is we have to get this any lock brake line out of the way because the new bracket's going to come right in here. So we're just going to shift it over to the other side, zip tie it to this other line, get it out of the way. Definitely harder to work with gloves on but it's about 35 degrees right now. Don't pinch that hose. Just wanna hold it out of the way. With that out of the way, we're gonna take the stock axle mounting bolt out. This is an 18. As soon as that bolt came out, the whole axle shifted over. You can see that misalignment right there. If this pan hard rod were horizontal, you would now have a straight line hold the hole. Johnny, run that tape. I'm just gonna take a little bit of wire try and use a hole that's nearby like this one not the one I was just in and well your brother holds a two ounce camera you'll struggle to both lift the rod and tie it off <laughs> so first important step was taking that ABS line out of this little bracket. It normally sits right in front. Um, we're just pulling it off, routing them back. Just put a zip tie on there, not tight. You don't wanna crush that line. It's just getting it out of the way. So the next thing we gotta do is create some clearance for this bracket to come down in here. So for that, um, we use some sophisticated tools. Giant crescent wrench. Just want to bend that out a little bit, creating a little clearance 
little bit of shimmy. There you go. So this piece with the nut welded on, nut's gonna be facing up, long side, forward. I'm gonna fish it up, in, and then back. I'm gonna take the 30 millimeter, and bring this up in place, and that nut we just put in there, we're just trying to find that and get it started. And I've knocked it out of place. I'm gonna pull it back over. Snug that up, it'll hold that. I'm gonna take the 40 millimeter with the washer. It's gonna come over here through the side. Just get those threads started. And then your stock bolt is going to go right up through here. What, no Loctite? No Loctite on those. But, it seems like a lot of work to do those by hand. So, just gonna use a little bit of technology. So this one, don't want to don't want that all the way tight we're gonna leave that gap open it'll make it easier to get the pan hard rod into place all right we're ready to put the pan hard back in place go ahead and cut that and because we've left this loose enough it's gonna drop right in there and what do you know with this elevated position the bolt hole is right in place. Oh. We almost forgot. Little secret sauce. Just a dabble, do you? If he wants to be ornery, persuade it. Not gonna torque that just yet. Let's get these cinched up. All right, I forgot something. This bolt, the stock bolt, goes in the stock hole. We wanna put Loctite on that. So, torque wrench, 120, 100, 95, 95. You start down here. That's the sound. 95. This one's a little tricky. Because you got the nut to contend with on the back side. And 95 again. Okay. So we torqued everything. However, I like to check torque again. So back to 100. That's why we retorque. That moved about an eighth of a turn. This is a paint pen. John, what do you think the purpose of these marks are? They will show if any movement occurs in those bolts. So, 
I recommend you do not lift your forerunner unless you do this pan hard rod correction.